And after watching the guy using his uh, smoker meat probe, I thought, why not? I got one of those. We'll try that out and uh, we'll do another revisit uh, that I did uh, on a, a couple of videos ago on uh, the uh, coolness of the air coming out of these overhead ducts. So you can see I've got the probe stuck up. Uh, we're in uh, about the middle set of uh, ducts in the living room. And let's take a look, see, and see what the temperature is coming out of that duct. And you can see 43 degrees is what's coming out of that overhead duct. The temperature outside right now is about 84 degrees. So 43 degrees inside coming out of that duct. The 170 is just a set temperature uh, when I was cooking something. So don't pay attention to that. But uh, 43 degrees is pretty darn good and since I only have the living room AC running we'll pull this probe out and we'll go stick it in the bedroom ducts because all of these overhead ducts from the living room up into the bedroom area are connected via a racetrack in other words if the living room AC is running it's gonna blow cool air in the living room as well as the bedroom and vice versa. If the bedroom AC is running and the living room AC isn't off, you're still gonna get cold air coming out these living room ducts from the bedroom AC. So let's go check that out. We had 43 degrees here in the living room. Let's go see what it is in the bedroom. Okay, so we're here in the bedroom. I've let the temperature probe warm back up so that you can actually see uh, that I'm not trying to pull something over on you. and. Uh, in the, our bedroom, we have two ducts uh, uh, for the overhead AC. We're still running the living room one, so we'll put the probe in place and we'll take a look-see and see what kind of airflow we're getting out of these bedroom ducts. Okay, we've got the smoker probe stuck in one of the bedroom overhead AC ducts. And let's take a look-see and see what kind of air temperature we're getting out of that. And so we're actually getting 50 degrees out of the bedroom ducts and we had 43 degrees out of the uh, living room ducts. So for all of that distance uh, to travel from all the way back there where that uh, uh, living room AC is at, all the way up the, along the roof, up here to the uh, bedroom uh, ducts to get 50 degrees, I'd say that's pretty good. And uh, we'll run the bedroom AC here in a few minutes. Uh, and uh, we'll take a couple of temp readings on it just to, to see how it's actually working. And I did want to show you this. Uh, you can see a good flow of uh, water coming off of the uh, uh, duct. And that is coming off the duct right up at the top up there. And uh, that's what I want to see. It's removing the moisture. And you can see it's a pretty good stream of moisture. Uh, it's only 38% humidity uh, here this morning, I think, and that might be a, a high guesstimate. But I do have the, the door open on the Alpine, so running the air conditioner with the door open uh, is not conducive to uh, good cooling, but uh, we're in and out and everything, so I just wanted to show you, you know, that's how the water should be flowing off the roof of your air conditioning unit. Uh, if you're not seeing water flowing off your air conditioning unit when it's running, you need to get up there and find out why, because it should be draining off uh, either the left side or the right side on the rear, or both of them, uh, depending on how level your Alpine is. Okay, we've turned uh, the living room AC off, and let's turn the, the bedroom AC to on. We'll check the temperature in there, and we'll drop it down a notch. And hopefully this will fire up here in a minute. We should see an hourglass, and we do, so that means the fan is on and the compressor will kick on here in a minute. And we'll give you a quick look-see at the temp probe. It's still stuck in the same place I had it in uh, in the bedroom. That's where we're at, is in the bedroom. And we're showing 61 degrees. The air conditioning uh, compressor hasn't kicked on yet. And uh, when it will, or when it does, Hopefully, uh, we will uh, take another temp measurement, but I just want to show you that the 
temp uh, is increasing and we'll let that AC run and uh, do its job. And so here we are back in the bedroom for one final check on this uh, air conditioner's performance. And as you can see, we are also getting 43 degrees off the smaller the bedroom AC. Uh, the one in the bedroom is a 13.5. Uh, brisk Air 2, I believe, and the one on the back for the living room is a 15K uh, with heat pump uh, Penguin 2. So, and I might have those uh, bass backwards. Uh, the Penguin might be on the front and the Brisk Air might be on the back. But nevertheless, we can see that we're getting 43 degrees out of this air conditioner also. And we're at about 85 degrees outside. And as you can see, the, the door to the Alpine is open. So 43 degrees coming off of two AC units that are nine years old. Uh, we're quite happy with those. Okay, so we've let the temp probe warm back up. We're out here in the living room. The living room AC is turned off. The bedroom AC is running. And remember, it's the smaller of the two ACs on the, uh, this Alpine. On some of the newer Alpines, uh, they went with a 15K on front and 15K on back, which is nice, but this is a 13.5K. So we'll see how much uh, cold air, if any, that uh, this uh, front, AC, or front bedroom AC can push all the way back here to the bedroom uh, ACs, or excuse me, to the living room ACs. Okay, I've stuck the probe in up here to the same duct that we used to measure in the living room. Uh, when we ran the living room AC, again, we are running the bedroom AC and let's take a look, see, and we can see that that temp probe has dropped down to 57, now to 54, and uh, we'll give it a, a, about 30 seconds or so, maybe a minute, let it run just a little more to get an accurate reading of that air coming out. And we've let that uh, probe sit in there for about a minute or so. And so you can see that we have 50 degrees coming out of the living room ducts with only the bedroom AC running. And we had 43 degrees in the bedroom uh, on the bedroom ducts with only the bedroom running. Uh, and going back to the first check uh, when we ran the living room AC, we had 43 degrees here in the living room and we also had 43 degrees in the bedroom. So that's the difference between uh, a 15K a BTU uh, uh, RVAC versus a 13 and a half that's on the front. And it did just drop down to 48. So we're 86 degrees outside. The door to the Alpine is open. So the air conditioner is working even harder. But, uh, you know, that's pretty impressive, really, I think, uh, cooling wise for two nine year old AC units. I can't complain uh, at all.